enough. There was a lot of reviews that game, so I'm pretty confident now. But yeah. How, how did that? I guess did, did that play sort of spark the defense early? Obviously, you guys had given up a big drive before, and you know you kind of played that bend but broke, don't break sort of, so to speak, in the first half. Yeah, I mean that's that's always a goal of the defense is to you know find any way to to, to stop the momentum, to stop that offense from from creating more plays, and you know it's I'm. Uh, I was fortunate to be in that situation, and you know it, um, that was a big play for our defense. You know, just to be able to get off the field, it's always big, and to leave the field with no points, it's it's a big deal. Yeah. Cody, how do you keep yourself, I guess, ready for those moments? You don't know necessarily going into a game that you're going to be on the field for for that situation. Where some guys maybe assume that they are. How did you stay ready to react to that play? You know, it's it's always it comes back to preparation. You know, I uh, I always prepare like I could be that the guy to take every snap. So you have to be ready to. Do what uh, do what it takes, and you know our coaches do a really good job of making sure we cover as much as we can and and all the possible situations. And we ha we knew kind of what we thought was going to happen, and I just wanted to play the right, my job, and and it worked out. Does that play kind of happen in slow motion for you on the on the field, or does it go by in a second? Because like if you're blocking somebody downfield, then you have to turn, and like you could tell there was like that convergence between you and him, who was going to get the stick first. Yeah, I I uh, it's tough to some, sometimes know where you are on the field a little bit. Um, you know, at that point, I just felt like it was the time was going too far, and then I had to make him make a decision. And uh, and yeah, like that play, that play is it's a rare play that happens. You know, fourth and one in the middle of or kind of in the field of play, and so uh, you know, I just felt like I had to make a play, and and it luckily it, it worked out in our way. Cody, you said you guys had a pretty good idea they might try to do that there. With, how much did you talk about like that specific play where they're trying to leave that pullback out? Well, I. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say exactly that, but I, in the past, I've I've gotten that play and I've I've messed up on it like last year. So, it's always kind of in the back of our head. Like you know, they pile everybody in just to you know entice you to come forward, and then they leak somebody out. And so, you know, it plays like that. Every offense kind of has one. So, um, it's always a possibility that, that it can happen like that. Cody, do you feel like the defense is seeing that more? Like it's a bunch of veteran guys now. Where last year there was a lot of younger guys out on the field. Do you think that? Defense hasn't really changed, but you guys have just seen more, so you know how to react to more things. Yeah, I mean, and you know, when when you play at Ohio State, everyone kind of attacks you different ways and gives you new different new looks. So we're still working through all the the little tricks and and nuances that the uh, offense will bring. So yeah, we're definitely more mature as a defense, but there's always going to be new issues and new problems that arise for our for our defense. And then have you ever seen Coach Day as animated as he was after the game? No, yeah, he was he was fired up. I, I think our whole team was. Though. We we knew the the stakes of that game, and and we knew that toughness was going to be the defining factor for our game for that game. And you know, it, it really always comes down to like we talked about all off season, just that that one yard or that one play. So that's what we wanted to focus on, and and it ended up in our favor. Cody, have you guys embraced Ohio against the world, and, and what does that mean to you when you hear that? Well, I I think it's 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 a level of pride that we just that we want to. Be, we want to. We, we know that we're going to get the best out of everybody, and you know it's it's not that everybody's against us, but we but we are together. And when we're together, that we're almost uh, we're no one can beat us besides ourselves. And so, you know, it, we always just try to stay together as a, as a unit. What was the reaction like in the locker room to seeing the way Ryan Day commented after the uh, game? Yeah, I, I, again, I I don't have any comments on his comments, but um, you know, we felt his love for us, and we felt like. He always has our back, and so in that, in the, in, the, in the turn, we have his back. And so before the game, we were all, we always said we were behind Coach Day no matter what. You know, it's he's our leader, and you know we'll, we'll always have his back. And and it kind of came out in in a lot of emotion at the end of the game. And you know, it's we we love we love to have people who who care and people who know that they have our back and we'll have their back. And so that, that was kind of that moment there. Did you players feel like you had a point to prove though? That uh, you know, y'all heard y'all heard criticisms off and on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, every game is is a new battle. You know, it's 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 the hard part about being here. It's it's every team you play is gonna give you your best shot. So it it doesn't matter who you're playing. It you gotta be on every single cue and every single play. And you know, obviously that game was a big big game. But uh, you know, it's 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 always comes back to like your your training and your fundamentals. And it's one play and it's the next play, the next play. Like you don't want to make the moment too big, uh, too much bigger than it actually is. Oh, he's 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 playing really well. He's 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 violent with his hands. He's he's at 
it's hard to block him. And you could watch on film. He's he's in the backfield almost almost every play. So, you know, I I've seen it since he came here as a freshman that he was going to be a dominant player like that. So I, I, it doesn't really surprise me. I, you guys are seeing it on on Saturdays now. But you know, he's he's a, a really really skilled player, and you know, I, I'm just really happy for him that it's coming out and on big games like this because he's he's really showing the world what he can do. Oh, I remember when he came in spring ball, and he was just like, no one could move him. And he was a freshman, just didn't really know where he was going, but he was just in, in the plays, and he was he was dominant as a freshman. So I just I'm happy for him now. Plus it's also he made he made the tackle on the last play of the game, you know. The yeah. When y'all thought it was all over, but it wasn't, right? I mean, what does that just speak about him? You know his his instincts and his, his effort. You know he he gives a lot of effort, and you know he gets tired he gets tired after these games because he's playing so hard and. Um, you know, it just, it just speaks to his character and, how, and how, how much he cares for his other brothers on his team. What's it been like to see Chip Trainum go from coming in here as a linebacker last year to now playing as big of a role as he is at running back? Yeah, he's, he's a 100% a team player. You know, it's, it's not easy to be able to change, get changed from position to position, even trans, after from transferring. So he's shown that he really all he cares about is Ohio State and, and, and the Buckeyes. And, you know, I'm, I'm so proud of him, so happy that he was able to – uh, make that big play, and he's uh, it's really he's showing that the world really that all his his effort and all his uh, his training and everything he in the off season he was one of the hardest workers on our team. So I I'm just so happy for him. Someone else I wanted to ask you about Lathan Ransom had a big impact throughout this game. 13 tackles, five more than anyone else on either team. What did you see from him uh, Saturday, and what has he provided to this defense this season? Yeah, Lathan's super explosive and he's super tough. Like he he'll play through almost anything that ever happens to him. So I'm. Like I'm not surprised by it because Lathan's just that's the type of guy he is. He'll always go as hard as he can, and he's so violent. And um, you know, I, what you guys see on Saturdays is that's like every day for us. He's he's gonna go as hard as he can no matter what. Was he playing through something Saturday? He's I, I don't I'm not really sure his actual medical injuries, but he's he's just playing. Bang, everyone's playing banged up, but he just has a you know stuff going on with his body. What do you feel like y'all need to get right over this over this two week period? I mean, it's still maybe lingering out there. Straight hitting into the last eight games. Yeah, it, the the amazing thing about football is it's it's really all about fundamentals and it's all about the basics. And you know, it's bye weeks are that's the main focus of bye weeks is getting back to you know being violent with your hands, footwork, communication. Like it's it's all everything's all simple. And the, that's the thing about these big moments in games. You think it's miraculous plays, but it's really just the the basics and who can do their basics better than the other the other team. Yeah, and that one stop y'all got on that fourth one where uh, I think it was Hartman kept the ball with them. You may have already talked. Sonny Styles mirrored him all the way down the line and yeah. laid them fired. Yeah. Uh, what did that just tell you about those about those guys and how where they are, et cetera, and, and getting the job done? Oh, it, they're so instinctual. They they they, they know. I'm not gonna say they know the, what the play was coming, but we, we knew it was gonna be a sneak, and uh, you know they just they figured out where to be and you know they make the play and and it's uh yeah you know, I I don't really know what else to say, but it's just a great play from them. Kobe, what is that Sunday like when you kind of wake up finally? After the late flight, getting back some sleep, and then you wake up. Like, what does it feel like? Is it surreal? Did it almost feel like that didn't happen. Like, well, take me through that. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the best atmospheres I've ever been a part of. Um, their their crowd and their stadium was was off the, off the charts, and uh, you know, it, there was definitely like a, a a deep breath that you let out. You know, like wow, like that really happened, and. Um, it, it definitely helps with the bye week, and so you can kind of let yourself collect your emotions. And you know, it's it's a it's a, uh, a amazing event. But you know, now everybody's going to watch that film, and and we know that we have to get back on our on our grind. And it's all about how can we follow up with that game. And and like uh, Coach Day said, like it's it doesn't matter. Like this game could could be so great, but unless we back it up week after week after week, it does it won't mean anything. So we have to keep pressing and keep getting better every week. You guys give yourself at least a little bit extra to celebrate that win, given the Thursday oh, yeah. bye week. I mean, usually, I know you guys try to turn the page on Sunday, but you have to give yourself at least a little bit of time to celebrate that one. Yeah, yeah. The, the bye week definitely allows you to, you know, catch your breath, and, and we made sure we celebrated that one. That was probably the most electric our locker room's ever been after a game, and because um, we we knew the moment was so big, and there was a lot of, you know, attention swirling around that game. It's college game day, you know, that's that's a, a big deal, and. So to get a top ten win like that was was a really big deal for our team. How 
It's it's so it's so important for us. You know, having great D line play is is essential to a good defense. And uh, you know, those guys in the middle they 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 create havoc in that in the, in the trenches there. And so it just it, it all it does is either clean up the look for us or they're making the tackle. You know, so it it really there's no there's no downside to when they can play violent like that and and they're consistently doing it. So we're we're happy that they're doing that. Uh, we just have uh, more practices, I believe, and then um, I think we're I think we're off. I, I don't know. The, we have the weekend off, so that's all I know. But um, via yeah, just more more practices, and we're just getting getting back to our fundamentals, and it'll be like a our normal practices, I believe. Any fun plans for the weekend? <laughs> uh, just watching the games. I watch my brother play in uh, against Virginia Tech, so it'll be a good one. Uh, it's definitely important for for the bye week to you know watch your tendencies and watch your what you're given to to def- or to offenses and you know it's it's that's really what we're doing we we need to go back through this the Notre Dame film and because that's such an important game a lot of our issues came out that game so we we need to double down and focus on those and just the first I guess three other games that we played and you know you want to see what other teams would see from you and that's a main focus for us and you know just making sure where all of our I's are dotted and T's across. Do you do that as a collective and individually? Yeah. That would probably be more individually and positional just because it's easier to focus on like your alignments or your movements or whatever. Who do you think the best team in the country is right now? Have you seen enough football? To- <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if, if I didn't say it was us, I wouldn't be have the trust in my, in my, my body. Oh, I don't know. I'm not... I'm only focused on on the Ohio State right now. Oh yeah, he um, he was he's always super supportive. He sent me a text right before, right before we took off on the flight, but he had his own game, and I'm I'm just super supportive of him too. And he's doing really well this season, so you know it's it's great to to um, see him in his in his in his last year uh, playing super well. Was he extra excited for you giving the opponent? Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, he he had a he had a very a very uh, interesting career there and it was, it was it went well for him and you know he's on a new chapter in his life and I'm I'm as supportive as possible for him right now and he's uh, he's doing really well there so he's I think he just got announced for like a, a semifinals for an award so he's doing pretty well. Thirty four games in, what 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 is different about this defense from a year ago? I mean, what, from a confidence is it confidence? What you know is it uh, guys? Being where they're supposed to be, what, what is different about this defense? You know, I think the the main difference is that we can expand on what we did last year. You know, we were all kind of new to the system last year, and so now we kind of have an understanding of how Coach Knowles wants to coach us and how and how his scheme, like how he's making scheme up in his brain. So, um, yeah, it's pretty. He's he's pretty impressive uh, with his uh, his the way he thinks about defenses and. Uh, but I think I think it's that that uh, development and how we can be a more advanced defense, and I, I, that's, that's what I think the biggest it, advance it with this. Like everybody knows where everybody's supposed to be on any different play, which didn't look that way sometimes last year. You, know yeah. you know, if you've got this, this guy's got that. I mean, that's simple football, but it takes a while to develop that, doesn't it? But yeah, definitely. And and uh, you know, that's the thing uh, again about football. It's just it. F- to have that level of focus every play, it's 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 really hard. It's not easy to do, and you know whatever what it looks like on the on TV may not be what it actually is underneath the the camera. But uh, you know I I think uh, we spend a lot of time trying to make sure every individual detail is is worked out and making sure like you could be off by one step and be out of the play. Like it, it's all it takes. It could be one step to the right and the play's going left and you're gone. So. Um, I, I think that's what the main focus is, just to make sure all of our details are are perfectly ironed out, and and it'll never be perfect. But it, that's our job to to try to make it as close as possible, and, and work every day to to make sure it is as perfect as it can be. What do you think a win over there does for this type of game in the top ten? Goes down to the wire. What does a win like that do for the confidence? You know, I, it 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 means it means a lot, 100 percent, a lot. But it's it goes back to our off season and the, the 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 pain that we felt from last season and how it's 
it was so close, like the being able to, to get into that final game. It, it's so close, and we understand that all it takes is an inch to – like you don't know when that inch is coming, but all it takes. And so to see that actually play out in, in real time, I think it, it allows our guys to believe more into that that you don't know when the play is coming. So you have to be perf- or as perfect as you can be at every time and have to be as tough as you can be at every time, at every point, every play, because that play could be whenever. And I think it's just coming out to that game and how that game ended, it was such an important moment there. And I think our team is definitely going to respond and we, and we will lead on with more toughness and, more, and play as hard as we can because we understand now that, that it really can play out to one inch or one play. Yeah, I, I don't really uh, worry about when he's calling people out, but I know, I know, and, and it, didn't, it didn't take his words or anything to know that he he really truly does love his guys and all his players and, and everyone who's involved with Ohio State and everyone in Ohio. Really, you don't really need his words. You, you know, he goes to battle every day, whether it's practice or or film or you know with media. He every day he he puts on that 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 shield of uh, that block O, and he's he's shown his love for all of us and you know I, I had no doubt it didn't matter what what was said or, or anything that went on before or after the game like during that game he's there for us no matter what 100% you said that you guys know what Jim Knowles is thinking now how long did that take and is that a scary place <laughs> no I wouldn't say I know exactly what he's thinking he 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 tries to to relay it in, into ways that can can help us but you know it's Every week is different. Every team is different. So um, to be able to, to match up against other teams, he'll definitely give us what he what he's thinking for that that period. But you know, <laughs> a scary place. I don't know if it's a scary place, but he's he definitely has a lot of, of football knowledge that that can that helps us in many in many ways. Cody, thank you very much. Appreciate it.